Hey y'all, hey y'all. Woo! I just got back in the bed. I had to get up, take me a shower, take my makeup off and wash my face. I cannot believe I slept in my makeup last night. So disappointed in myself. That is not something that I do. Why is it so blurry? That is definitely not something that I do. What's this on the pillow? <laughs> but I don't know what happened last night. But I got so drunk. <sighs> you have to look at the last wall to see what led up to this point. But yeah, I got up, showered, triple cleansed my face. So I washed it with my normal um face stuff and then i added in the mario badescu um cleanser i did that twice because it's, i'm not trying to have no blemishes pop up on my face we've been doing good so i don't got back in the bed i was supposed to do a whole bunch of stuff today but mm -mm not happening. I was supposed to start cleaning up. I was supposed to start posting stuff on my Poshmark, but I got to get myself together first because I can't feel like this. So after I showered and did all that, I ordered some food. I ordered my favorite, of course, Chop House, the Petite Pork Chops, and my spinach. So I ate half of that because it comes with two pork chops. And it has a real healthy... I got two pork chops that it comes with in the spinach. And then I ordered an additional side of the spinach. So I ate half for lunch. And then I'll eat the other half for dinner. So right now I'm going to take me a nap and, and watch Love During Walk Up. And watch Love During Lock Up. Um, probably let it watch me. But um, yes, yeah, pretty chill Sunday. I'm not doing anything. I might, if I start feeling better, because right now my stomach hurts, my head doesn't hurt. My stomach hurts. So, if I feel better, I'll get up and start cleaning stuff around and get out of this house. But, as of right now, I don't plan on doing it. Oh, nap time. Okay, I didn't show y'all before I left, but I'm back home. And I'll show y'all what I wore. I just went and got sushi, well, food and drinks with Mamie and her and a couple of friends. So I wore this jacket, black jacket that came out the men's department, East Fashion Metro. Just a regular black shirt, Target. These pants came from Fashion Nova, part of a three-piece set, and Vans. Something simple, yet cute, comfortable. It's rainy out. Can you see the shoes now? Yeah, so. Like I said, I'm back home now. I'm about to do some straightening up around these parts. I'm going to take my Christmas tree down this week, y'all. So, I don't want to have to hear y'all mouth. So, I'm going to take the tree down. And then, also, I have to... The reason why I'm straightening up is because I have to send a video to the movers of the house and the stuff inside of the house so they can i guess get an idea on how much stuff has to be moved so 
I don't want to record it in, <laughs> in my house be a mess. That's just like, you know, you know when you having somebody come clean up. I don't know if it's just me. You straighten the house up because you don't want nobody to see your house like that. <laughs> so, yeah, I got to straighten my house up. Then record the video for the movers. <sighs> but right now, that is what I'm about to do. <sighs> Finish editing the video. So, I could have stayed home and finished it today, but Mamie came over and wanted me to go with her. And I'm not turning down any friend time, any family time, so... You know, the video will get posted at some point. I don't know why I'm putting this on. I just need to take the wig off. How about that? <sighs> so, yeah. Let me put my bonnet down and get the cleaning. Oh, I started watching um, Tinder Swindler. So, I guess that's what I'm going to watch while I clean up. What else are y'all, like, watching on Netflix or whatever? Like, what shows? I pretty much watched everything. So, give me some suggestions on new shows. Because <sighs> I need some new stuff to watch. Mm. I'll be forgetting I got a nose ring sometimes. So... I straightened up a bit and then why is it so okay shout out straightened up a bit and um recorded the video to send to the movers like I had to do it like three times the first time I felt it like it wasn't clean enough so I had to go back and straighten some more stuff up the second time I don't know, the second time I was recording and caught myself in the mirror with my nightgown on. So I was like, no, I'm not sending them no video with me in the nightgown. And then the third time was a charm, so. Now I'm about to get ready for bed. It's like 11.30, so getting to bed so I can be asleep by 12. I did um, also while I was cleaning, I took out some outfits to do a Valentine's Day outfit inspo video so i did one one two three four five different outfits so like just different kind of styles like super dressy super chill or like most of the outfits you can you know not necessarily dumb them down but you can style them down um by changing the shoes or changing your accessories and things like that so I'll probably do that on Wednesday. Tomorrow is Monday, so I'm not gonna stress myself trying not trying to do it on a Monday because I'm already trying to get my mind right for work. So Tuesday I have a doctor's appointment for the MRI. So Wednesday, what well, Thursday would be the perfect day. Wednesday would be the perfect day. So that way I can have it done by Thursday. I need to get back on my outfit videos, like my Pinterest inspired and my style videos. Um, I've just, it's been so much going on lately, but I had to get back to doing the original content that I started doing, like when my channel started. Y'all remember when I burnt my finger? Look, it's peeling really weird. I'm not pulling it off though. I'm just letting it do it on its own, but yeah, getting back to that kind of content. More so, this will probably be the last styling video until I get settled in Fresno. Hmm. Because I'm not, I don't have to pack my stuff, but I have to, you know, pull everything out and kind of get rid of the stuff. So I'm going to start listing my stuff on Poshmark. That's probably what I'll get up and do. No. At some point this week, I'm going to start, like, putting, like, dumping loads and loads of stuff on my Poshmark. So, fun stuff. 
fun, fun stuff to get prepared for this move. Not to mention the mountain of clothing. That's all there. Well, at least it's not on the floor. And then there's a load of laundry and two loads that are done out of the dryer. So, yeah, getting rid of some stuff is going to be a must. So, I don't got to work, y'all. This is going to be a process. Let me go to bed. I'm I'm stressing myself out. All right. Have a good day. You too. Thanks. You're welcome. Bye. Good morning, y'all. This girl. The bus was late. And... I had called the school and she was like, oh, the bus is running like we know sis. So right as I was calling transportation, the bus came. But the bus is like almost an hour late. But I was telling my God though that there's a shortage of bus drivers these days. So Child, she might have got mad and quit or had to pick up other routes. So she got to be patient. She woke me up. I'm going to try to catch me a nap. to bring my mom her plant. Isn't it cute? <sighs> yeah, so she don't want me to go to the store at night. But she don't mind me bringing this flower. I don't know why I'm whispering, but <laughs> I don't want to hear her talking. I don't want her to hear me talking, rather. But let's go do a dwarf. Look at my hair. Oh, boy. You know I'll be sitting in the car for a few minutes. Out. Where you want me to put this plant at? Guess this is the coffee table. Put it on the pants. Huh? Huh? You told me to put it on the table. Yeah, coffee table. How am I supposed to know that's a coffee table? <laughs> this looks like a coffee table too. Like it's gonna make a difference. Huh? Look like it's what? Thanks. <sighs> well, I'm finna go home. It's dark and I shouldn't be out. Sure should be. You got up. Okay, I know. Daylight. I know. Get you some rest. Thank you. You're welcome. 
All right. Yes, ma'am. Bye. Night, night. All right, so this is the outfit of the day. I'm going to have to uh, put it on maybe another day when I do my makeup and take some pictures because, boo, I'm cute. Jumpsuit from Rainbow. Just like the purple one I wore the other day. Sweater, cardigan. It's actually a dress from Diayanu. I did a haul on them not too long ago. I got a pee so bad. I always got a pee when I get home. And those grayish tannish ones see and it just went so well together Woo! yeah i sent it in the group chat girl i said wait a minute like i said curiosity was getting the best of me so i was like let me see what everybody talking about going on and on about so, because the girl, she was like, nah, I can't say that, tell my um dude that I'm going to a sipping paint with the girls and I'm going to go meet up with my sneaky link. And everybody was like, yeah, she ruined it for everybody. So, I said, let me go look and see what they're talking about with a sipping paint. And the first thing pop up was him doing his thing. I said, wait a minute, he looked familiar. So, I scrolled a little further and all you mm -hmm. see is him tagged. And I said... Thank God, ain't nobody got them videos that I got. <laughs> Who's that? Who's that? Thank God they ain't posted. I should make a tick so I can be like scratching now my head. We're moments away from doing the same thing. <laughs> we would not. No, I would not have done that. Dare not have Try. done that. Try, please, right. if you put it in your mouth, you'd have did it. If he would have put it in his mouth, I would have left. That is rude. <laughs> and she's stupid for letting him do that to her. Near her what? face? So. That was at a different place, though. I don't think that's him. It is. They go to different places. They go around the um, United States. He was in Miami. He be going. Like, when you go to the um bookings. It's different cities listed. Look on Twitter. Matter of fact, what is it? why do what we have to why do we have to dismiss our call? It's dismiss the call in an orderly fashion because we talked about everything we can talk about. <sighs> we talked about how much y'all like to suck. I don't want to talk about that no more. It's like I don't want to talk about it. But it's just it's nasty. Okay. Well, what would you like to talk about? I don't want to talk about it anymore. Okay. Mm. I'll tell you. That camera, Ryan. What camera? What's the fireplace? <laughs> Why? Go ahead on the pan real quick. <clears throat> I didn't even see the fireplace. Why you want to see my damn fireplace? <laughs> oh, this is what you want to see. Them. You come damn take it down then. Maybe. Maybe. When they uh, come to pack that stuff up, because she going to be gone. Tell them that Christmas tree is trash. <laughs> They, I won't be gone. I will be here when they pack my stuff up. And they are not throwing my tree in the trash. She want, she want them people to take all them bugs off their bed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to take it down this week. I said that yesterday. I'm going to take it down this week. Y'all should come over. We should have a takedown party. There you go. And Lord, first I knew she was going well, to take long before she double back on it. I really want y'all to go back up here and have fun. I'm not going. Hmm? She's not talking about that private take down. She's talking about it. Couldn't wait to tell. See, you can be quiet. Wait long, wait. They'll tell you. They'll tell on themselves. It's just give up a chance. They'll tell on themselves. I'm talking I'm about the Christmas tree. I knew she was going to double back. I'm sorry, I'm not. I was so confused. I'm like, what did I say? <coughs> I'm 
talking about the damn Christmas tree. Have a take the Christmas tree tree down party. Yeah, you ain't had no Christmas put up party. Did she make me? I did help her get the tree together so she could do a video. Thank you. Oh, shit, well, y'all, you know, y'all, y'all, sad conversation, you know, y'all talk about stuff, y'all don't want me to know about. Good morning, y'all. While I'm getting dressed, done put my clothes on and my shoes, I feel a breeze between my legs. Mmm. Hold out out of my one of my favorite pairs of tights. I'm so disgusted. Utterly disgusted. So now I gotta put on another pair of tights. But these aren't my favorite tights. Like, I don't even know how they fit. If they're gonna fit. I had to pull some out. You know how your favorites get worked to the front? So, I'm running partially on time. I said I want to leave the house by nine. Alexa, what time is it? It's 9.05 a.m. Okay. It looks wet today. Stay dry. Always. <laughs> but this is actually a dress that came from Rainbow. I'd have folded right. Torrid tights, Yeezys, um, it's Fashion Metro jackets. And we're about to get out of this house. I'm officially on my way and I thought I was gonna be super, super late because I forgot I had to stop for gas. But when I put the address in the GPS, it says I'm gonna be there at 9.52 and my appointment's at 10. This might be 15 minutes late, but early, but I'm not late, so it's okay. And I feel like paperwork with it, so. I was just talking to my goddaughter and she was telling me how she didn't have a Valentine this year. Well, as of right now, because you know, things in middle school change every day. That she didn't have a Valentine and she was asking me what I was doing on Valentine's Day and I thought I was going to work, you know? I didn't have a reason to take off. And I thought I don't have one either. And that I have to work on Valentine's Day. I didn't have a reason to take off this year, so. But I did plan on celebrating Valentine's Day, like maybe on Saturday or Sunday, just doing like, you know, some self-care stuff and just loving on myself. So she was talking about how she um, was a third wheel or whatever. She didn't want to be a third wheel. And I was like, well, for me, I love to see love. And I love when people are in love. So, like, if I'm a third wheel, like, I'm not going to be, like, grumpy or in a mood or be in my feelings or anything like that because I love love and I love when my friends are genuinely happy and genuinely in love so like I saw I even like what was it 2020 right before the pandemic that Valentine's Day I went on a cabin trip with three other couples one was married one was engaged and it was a boyfriend and girlfriend so I went with three couples on a cabin trip and I went by myself I had a good time. I enjoyed myself. Um, of course, I would love to do these things with my man, but I'm not going to miss out on life because I don't have a significant other. So, I got to love on myself. I got to do stuff for myself. If I want to go out to eat, I'm going to go out to eat. If I want to do X, Y, and Z, I'm going to do it. And so, I decided what I'm going to do on Saturday is like, I'm gonna make my, my goddaughter's gonna be my Valentine, and I'm gonna get her gifts and make her feel special because love is love. And like I said, I don't want, 
I'm not going to miss out on anything. And I damn sure don't want my goddaughter to miss out on anything because she doesn't have a significant other at the time. Miss girl, she, she don't be playing. She always got a boo, honey, but she just don't have one at this moment. But I said that I would do that for her. So Saturday she's coming. We'll probably go like out to eat or like if she want to go to the mall or something, we'll probably do that. But yeah, like people get in their feelings around Valentine's Day. I mean, it's normal, it's natural. We are made to love. Like I feel like that's what what's in our hearts. So yeah, everybody wants somebody, but I'm not gonna sit around and mope and be sad and cry. Nigga, I got stuff to do. I got a lot coming up. And even if I didn't have anything going on, like. I've in one mile, it. use the right two lanes to take exit 1AB, I-20, Columbia, Atlanta. I've then decided, keep right. Decided on happiness. Decided on choosing me and choosing myself. So, like, I think people love the idea of being in a relationship sometimes, but don't want to put in the work or do what's required for you to be in a relationship. Like, I think sometimes people glorify the idea of being with me. But then once they're with me, it's work. And that's with any relationship. It takes work on both Use parts. the right two lanes to keep right to I-20, Columbia, Atlanta. Then keep left to I-20 West, Atlanta. And you gotta be willing to put in the work. But if you're not willing to do it, like it's pointless. Keep left to I-20 West, Atlanta. So that's my little TED talk for the day. Like, love on yourself. I'm sending myself flowers, so. Hmm. They're gonna show up on my desk. And if somebody asks me who they're from. Continue straight for 20 minutes <sighs> to exit 172, State Route 17, post, Thompson, Washington. And I'm supposed to be like, oh, I love flowers. Because I do love flowers. Like, receiving flowers, that is. Oh everything it's just something about beautiful flowers for a beautiful girl I just write my name but um yes yeah, so I celebrate yourself love on yourself do for yourself and when God sees fit to put that person in your life he will do just that and everything that you've been through, all the people that you've encountered, every situation that did not work will make sense. It will all make sense. And I cannot wait for the moment. Cannot wait. What? In the meantime, I have to practice and be patient. But God, if you can hear me, it's your girl again. It's me again, Lord. Calling on you. I've seen what you've done for us. Whatever you're doing in this season, don't do it without me. Don't do it without me. All right, well, I'm going to turn on some music. And I'm going to jam on the way to the stop support because it's a 20. I got 20 more minutes to go. So I'll give it to y'all. Okay, gotta take off everything that has metal in it. So, all jewelry has to go. Rings have to go. Watch. And bracelet. Luckily, my wig doesn't have metal in it. All right, see you when I get out. I almost didn't make it, y'all. Oh, I feel like I'm 
feel like I gotta throw up. I'll tell y'all about it when I get in the car. Oh, Lord Jesus. Okay, I understand. Y'all, so that was some scary shit. I'm gonna be really honest. So, when I thought of an MRI, I was thinking like an X ray, like lay down. So, first of all, I was gonna use my healthcare spending card, but it kept getting declined. So, I called. And it was like, there was an issue last year with the card and it's since been resolved, but they haven't reactivated it yet. And I'm like, well, why wasn't it done? She was like, oh, you would, you had to call in to request it or do it online. But I went online and there was nothing that said that it needed, anything needed to be done. And when I called to check the card last night, it didn't say there was any issues with it. And I was like, well, how was I supposed to know that I needed to do anything as far as the card? She was like, oh, you would've just had to call, like randomly call in. So I had to end up paying out of pocket for it. So I'm gonna have to submit a reimbursement to get my money back, but that could have been avoided. But I had to take off my bra, anything that had like metal in it, because it would disrupt the scanner. So, um, had to take my rings, earrings, all jewelry off. Had to take my bra off because there's metal in the class. I wore a wig purposely that didn't have any clips in it because I didn't want to have to take my wig off. Um, so... I laid down on the table and I some say as how long is this gonna take? He said 45 minutes. 45 minutes. So you mean to tell me I got to lay in this thing for 45 minutes? Oh my god, that's when I started losing it. Like, okay. So, I, he was like, oh, well, you can just go to sleep. Now, hi, I'm going to go to sleep in this thing. So, the thing, basically, you're in it, and they push you all the way up to the top so that it basically clamps you in it. So, like, I was breathing, but I wasn't taking the deep breaths that I would normally take because my stomach was smushed in. So, like, I was fine for a while. I would try to close my eyes. I'm in the middle. I would close my eyes to try to make the time just go past. But then it got to the point where, y'all know, even, like, when I go get my eyelashes done, like, I can't just lay flat. I have to get up, take a break, or move around. So, I couldn't move around. And he gave me this thing to press if, you know, I needed him. So I pressed it and he was like, I was like, can we pause? Can I take a break? Can I do something? He was like, no, you can't. You, um, if we stop it, you would have to start over. So I'm like, okay, God, I got to get through this. So I just started humming, um, gospel songs, start humming gospel songs. And next thing you know, he was like, you have 12 more minutes. So I'm like, okay, that's three to four more songs. And so then he was done. And so then he started letting me. When he got ready to let me out, he was like, the thing was giving him an issue. It wouldn't let me out. You better figure it out because I'm getting out of this motherfucker today. And so then when I got out, he was like, he didn't think that the images recorded, so we're going to have to do it again. I said, you'll be on your own. Won't get no images today. 
He was like, he was just playing. But I wasn't. You're done. You're done. All right, y'all. I was running so late this morning. I went and got my eyelashes done. And I threw this yellow dress on. This cardigan. The cardigan game from Walmart. Dress from Dear Lover, I believe. And Uggs, of course. Real country looking, but it is what it is. So, I'm about to call it a night real early tonight, but... There's a meeting in my bedroom with me and my mannequin. And I'm about to get her together. Everything so, your girl wants. Mm. Oh, she put a hat on a ponytail. No, that man. I'm watching These Men for Everybody on Tubi TV. So, you know them Tubi TV movies? They be a little ghetto. A lot get them. So I'm watching that. And I'm about to try this curler I bought months. Well, not months. Quite a while ago. It's the Kimberella. Is it Kimberella? Or the lady who got the hair show. Um, Kim Kimball. I've never used it. So I'm about to try this curler now. Right, now disregard those clothes you see over there. Y'all know I'm in the process. Of moving, even though those was there before we said we was moving. So, judge not let she be judged. Um, wait, okay, how do I do this? Huh? One, two, three, four, five. Oh, I guess. Yes, that works. Well, that was quick. But how do I keep that line from getting her? Let's see what it do. Well, I done sprayed it now, so it was wet. I might have to wait till the morning when it's dry. Huh. I might be on to something, y'all. I think I'm on to something. So I'm about to do this and watch this movie. And I'll show you what it look like after I'm done. All right. These curls is done. These is actually easy. And it took me like 45 minutes to do all these, y'all. So I'm going to just wait and comb them out in the morning. Uh-oh. Wait. I might need to redo this one. But I think I did good. Yeah, I'm going to go back and redo these too. But other than that, we is in business, okay? Hey, y'all. I just got off work and my curls fell on this side. Well, not really fell. This side did amazing. This side is a little tired. They tired too. So I'm going to have to fix that. But for the most part, I love the way the curls still look but i wore this well it's a three piece from fashion nova but i just wore two pieces a day wore this cream colored tank i got this from it's fashion metro i believe and i wore these sneakers to set out the outfit i'm tired 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 it has been a long day i ain't even get to um talk to y'all this morning before I went to work because I was uh, trying to do a video. My goal was to do three videos today before work, but the cards didn't quite align. Okay, so y'all remember that light? <clears throat> okay, so 
I know when I was talking to y'all at first, I was up and had got home. I had my makeup on. It was cute or whatever. But, um, yeah, I got tired. So, I took my makeup off, showered, laid down. But, y'all remember that light that I bought from Ulta? The little phone clip light thing. So, we're going to try it out tonight. I finally put batteries in it. And it has two, three settings. One is cool, warm, and combo. So we're going to try cool first. I hope it's not super, super bright. Okay. Oh, got a little mirror up there too. So that's cool. This is warm. Okay. I'm seeing what it's giving. Kind of like filter. And this is combo. And this is combo. I think I like warm. If I can get it, I don't know. There we go. Hey. How y'all doing? So, yeah. It's like making my phone super long. No. I need something to prop it on. I need a thing for the bed. So, I ain't got to hold it up. What y'all doing? I'm about to get ready to go to sleep. So, I was on to y'all in the morning. My bad, good Hey y'all. I know, I know, I know. If I'm in here, that means the day has gone, passed and gone. <sighs> this is what I wore to work today. Of course I had this pulled down, so nothing was exposed, but part of a two-piece that I got from Rainbows, had some toured Yeezys, and a little jean shirt wrapped around my waist. To help prevent <laughs> the belly from peeking out. But yeah. So today's Friday. Happy Friday, y'all. I'm in sad. I'm in sad, sad. It has been a long week. We're coming up on the last, my last week at my job here. Um, yeah, next week is going to be my last day there. And then what's going to happen is, is I start working from home with the California site until I actually go to California. So, oh. <gasps> Y'all, I cannot believe I'm actually doing it. I'm a, I can't believe it, y'all. I can't. It's crazy, but... Yeah, so... Nothing really going on on this Friday night. It was my goal to be the first person at the nail shop today. Because I don't have all day. I do not have all day. And I am the first person at the nail shop. They don't open till 9. It's like 8 o'clock. But, I mean, hey. I want to make sure I'm in and out. And I got my Starbucks. Look at, that, look at me being all productive this morning. Because I really wanted to just lay in the bed.
just want your time Are you change your mind? My hair look real raggedy. That's the gel you getting with it. That eco style. How much is it? Cause she don't wore out her um her funds for the um weekend. I got twenty four cent more dollars, so you don't wore that. But I'm gonna pay you back for getting this. You say that every time. I'm gonna start writing it down. I'm gonna start writing it down. No, that's not what you told me. Every time you say, I'm going to pay you back. You've been doing this for years. I'm going to start writing it down. Because you owe me some money. And I'm going to be able to cash in soon. You do. You just said it again. I need to find some bio silk. Now we have to find the dollars. I'm tired, y'all. Tired. What is she getting? I just need some milk. I need some milk. Why you got your foot on that ladder? What are you doing? So, Lana. Everybody wanted to know. They were asking me in my comments, "How do you feel about me leaving?" No. Oh. No what? Oh, uh, I thought I ain't like finished here, but I want you to go. But I don't want you to go. But you gotta go. Are you excited mm -hmm. about going to visit? Are you excited about going to visit? You not? Why? You want to be on the plane so bad? I don't like you like that. Like, why would you be I just like. She's talking about she don't like me like that, girl. I'm just playing. But yes. Know that's a lie. We all know that's a lie. And I just know I better not have no replacement. Who would ever replace you? She's not going over there to get a new godchild, girl. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. You can never be replaced, honey. It's easy. It's not easy. I'm irreplaceable. And so are you. One of a kind, my girl. <laughs> Give me a hug. Go, 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 go. Okay. You going a little too far. Not to puff off the top of your head. Okay, y'all. We are down here at Payne College 
on their campus for their homecoming. Our homecoming is your homecoming? Oh, thanks. We went here for Upward Bound. We were here. This is our school. Four years, so technically this is our school. Yeah, so that's why we come to homecoming because it's our school too. And then we are, even though our degrees are from different places. <laughs> <laughs> This used to be our old stomping ground. Valentine. I don't. You could. How could I? Cause you know it'll be people that be wanting you. But just because somebody wants you doesn't mean you gotta uh, want them back. You don't gotta want them to have to uh, take what they give you. But just take it and go. Get a gift and be like, oh, thanks, and then what? I still don't have no Valentine. It's not about gifts. It's about people showing you love and showing you that they love you. And even if you don't have anybody, you can still have the love of your friends and family. What do you think about that? Yeah, you think about that? I don't think I'm supposed to do that. This is very funny. Where's the little girl and the unicorn toy? Hey, hey, a toy. Wait. You need a chair? Oh, I found it. You want me to get it down? Thank you. 
put the bottle back there first. And then lean the flowers on it. Turn it. Turn it on. Keep turning. Turn it around, but the blanket needs to drape in the front so it covered up that little spot in the floor. There you go. Now put the pillow back in. Okay. Now slide it over. There you go. I can't remember what was going on with that thing. Pull that to the front a little bit. Something was in it. I can't remember what, though. I think the the thing was sitting on top of the books. It's something else. I was thinking maybe Christ is an interesting thing, right? Perfecto. You and I have been working on this for years. I'm about to go ahead and wrap up this week's vlog. I'm about to shower and lay down. Miss Girl is about to do the same. I'm tired. We done did all this heavy lifting. Who? Me. Kids. That was fine. Anywho, but I hope you guys enjoy watching. Make sure that you like this video. Make sure that you comment down below and make sure you share. But most importantly, make sure that you are subscribed to my channel and have those notifications turned on so that when I post a video, you will know and you won't miss it. If no one else has told you that they loved you, just know that Candace and Denise does love you. I will see you guys in the next video. What you supposed to say? Oh, and if I don't talk to y'all on Monday, happy Valentine's Day. Remember, I love Lee, you. Valentine's Day. Lee, Valentine's Day. If you don't hush. You know, remember if Valentine's Day is a day of love, so celebrate you, celebrate your significant other, celebrate the love of your friends, celebrate the love, celebrate the love of your family, celebrate the love that you receive in all aspects, not just from a relationship. So happy Valentine's Day. I hope you guys enjoy it. Do something for yourself. Anywho, I will see you guys in the next video. Love you guys. What are you gonna say? Bye. Bye.